Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. And if you're an old subscriber, not old, but older, you're if you're a tastemaker, if you've already been subscribed to my channel, I wanna thank you and I wanna say hello to anybody just stopping by. And at the end of this video, if you like my vibe, hit subscribe, join the Tastemakers tribe, and hit the like button if you like the video. And I, I read all of your comments, so I would love for you to leave a comment if you would like to suggest something or just uh, comment on the video. All right, so I wanna thank you again and stay tuned for the video. Hi guys. Hi guys, hi friends and family, Tanya here. In today's video, I'm doing my meal prep. I'm prepping my salads for the week. I've been doing it, but I haven't been filming it. And I got some comments saying that they miss my meal prep videos, some of my subbies. So I'm going to prep my salads today. And then another day I'll do like, you know, dinners and I'll do lunches. And then sometimes I'll have it all in one video. But today is, just, is salad day. And over the winter, I kind of fell off, you know, picking up some pounds. I haven't gone back skating again. That's my exercise of choice. And so I'm still, you know, trying to keep my blood pressure, blood sugar under control. Okay, so this does it for me. Just having some healthy, good things ready to go. So I've chopped rinsed and spun my romaine lettuce dry Put that up. and I have my containers ready to go Got my Rubbermaid containers I have some leftover chicken tenders right here I'm gonna put that most of the time my salads I try to keep all vegan you not or vegetarian because I will use some ranch dressing sometimes and uh, so here is my assortment of tomatoes i've already washed those dried those got these from sam's got the uh lettuce from sam's you know you get those six heads of romaine so i have my tomatoes my red onions i have some black olives here and my favorite salad is the chickpea i guess you can kind of call it a mediterranean salad and i have my chickpeas here I have a English cucumber already chopped up. And then when I, these uh, avocados, I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. I have an avocado for each day. Okay, so I'm gonna start building. I like to have at least two cups, two cups of lettuce in each container. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your support over the years. You guys stuck with me when I was just starting out. Tanya's Tasteful Table. Y'all took me from what well, they say, ashy to classy. I don't know how much class I got, but at least I, uh, I can do things tasteful. <laughs> okay, so we got all of our lettuces together. I'm going to put a little bit more over here. That's about two cups of lettuce, okay? So what do I want? I want, I like red in the center. I'll do my red stuff. And I chop these up, but um, if you're going to store them, you know, like meal prepping, I just I recommend just keeping them whole so they won't dilute dilute everything. Put my red stuff there. Better to keep everything whole. See 
what are we gonna do next? Okay, I'm gonna put my chickpeas. I'm gonna put about a half cup of chickpeas in each container. Even though they're good and healthy, they're a carb. So I just do minimal carbs. I can't go no carb. It won't work. Can't can't even front. And then this gives me an opportunity to go through my pantry, look through my preps, and see what needs to be used up to. So it's time to use these garbanzo beans, these chickpeas. Right here. Right there, I'm gonna put some red onion right there. You could really make this economical. Just one, one red onion, you know, can uh, prep your salads for the week. Just one. You don't have to be like me and always uh, buy a whole bunch of stuff because I'm a caterer. I'm used to buying stuff in bulk. All right, so let's see. Let's get some of these olives in there. Now, olives are brined and they can interfere. It might make some things soggy, but it's all right. I didn't drain them. Just uh, let me drain them right quick. I'm going to minimize that salt. That's pretty much the only salt. The salt from the, and I rinse uh, my chickpeas. Even, uh, you know, I like the aquafaba that comes off of them, but you know, that's sodium. So I, I rinse anything that comes out of a can, I rinse it really well. Okay. And then I have this, well, let me, since I already chopped these tomatoes up, let's go on in use them try to make it a rainbow the prettier my food is I'm gonna eat anyway doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's pretty or not but I like I like to my food to be pleasing Put it here, here, here. You guys, see, let me take these cutting boards away so we have more room. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna put this chicken in two of them. So I'm gonna use that up. Well, maybe three. No. I got enough for two. We'll have chicken and chickpeas. Move this. Oh, oh, I forgot, forgot my cucumbers. I know I needed something else other than a whole bunch of tomatoes. So that's 
what everything's looking like right now. Okay, so let's get our cucumbers in here. Each, each salad gets an avocado. Okay, fam, now here is my salads for the week. I'm gonna get a pear for the whole day. And I'll get an avocado and I take one of these 16.9 uh, ounce waters and I'll just fill this up all day long. I'll usually probably get six or seven uh, servings out of this bottle. You know, I'll drink this one and I'll fill it up each day. Okay, move that to the side and then so here are the salads here and this one has the chicken i have english to english cucumbers i have an a, assortment of heirloom tomatoes red onions chickpeas and these black olives on a bed of romaine lettuce and that's going to be all week and i normally like to have my salads at night my lowest glycemic meal is at night and if i have like some uh, carbs if I, you know, just can't help it, I'll try to get that in earlier in the day. And then the most carbs, if I like overdo it, then I'll work out that day. So, you know, I'm trying to get back. I was kind of falling off, been falling off. And it's hard for me. And in our neighborhood, it's like people don't uh, mind their dogs. So like, we used to have a nice, pleasant neighborhood. We had no fear of just walking outside our door. I would walk for hours and hours, and then now, you know, our neighborhood has turned over and people, you know, just let their dogs run free, and these are vicious dogs too, so I'm afraid to go outside, and I work out inside, but it's just not the same, and then I'm not going skating yet either, you know, because of COVID. People are still getting it in the skating rink, so... Just kind of hold back so I have to you know, kind of watch my meals and I get my meal game together put incorporate some exercise and you know get rid of some of the bad habits bad food habits and then you know it's all it's an ongoing thing always ongoing so you know do one or two things at a time you know get the clean up your food drink more water walk, dance, like I'll dance inside. Dancing is good. Dancing really gets that blood sugar down and blood pressure down. Okay, so you'll be seeing more meal prep. Now in the summertime, my stove, I use my stove to a minimum. It's salads, it's sandwiches, it's grilling. So you'll be seeing more of that, all right? Okay, guys, so I wanna thank you so much. Let me put my pear back over here. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And if you like my vibe, hit subscribe, join the tribe if you're new. And I want to say hello and thank you to all of my current subscribers and all the subscribers that have been with me from early on. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I hope this gives you some inspiration and we can uh, do this together. All right. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye, mom.